one more percussion library. That's always what I tell myself. Deep down, I know I'm lying. This is Asher from Audio Brewers.
This library is both simple and comprehensive. Simple in its selection and interface, which gives you control over ADSR, velocity and dynamics, effects, and mics. Comprehensive in its selection of articulations for the instruments, which includes open and muted hits, hands and alternate sticks, flams, different crescendos, and mod wheel controlled rolls. There are also two extra patches, one for designed versions of the drums, and one where you can layer pitched versions of them. Instrument-wise you get five drum sections, a massive Kaisha ensemble, a massive Dobra ensemble, a massive high surdo and low surdo ensemble, and a massive repik ensemble. You get eight mics for these. A mixed mic position, close, mid, Far. Then in a separate patch, four mono spot mics across the ensemble. I like this setup. You can use the spot mics for a smaller or more focused sound. Then add the far mic for a bigger sound during a chorus, for example. It also allows you to pan the drums wherever you want to make the ensembles sit wherever you want. Sound-wise, I think this library has a unique edge, owing to its large ensembles and choice of drums. It has an epic but focused sound, with some low-end content and plenty of smack and slam. I have a ton of percussion libraries and I'm glad this one fills a gap that many of them don't seem to cover. It's basically what I envisioned something like Heaviosity's master percussion ensembles should sound like, if that makes any sense. Also, you get patches where you can control the velocity with the mod wheel. This is a great buy at sale price. At full price, you'll want to decide if it's something you would use in your palette. But do keep in mind that the product comes with a stereo version and an ambisonics version for multi-speaker setups. Also, initially you may notice that the instruments can use a lot of CPU while playing. This is because each patch is set to Time Machine 2 in the settings. You can change this to DFD and this will reload all the samples make sure you have all the mic positions turned on in order to reload the samples, and this will drastically reduce CPU usage. Cool stuff. And that's that. I'll see you next time with another library. Check you later.